Hello everyone, I'm Lucia Tian. Yesterday, um, I have released Leathercraft Cat version 2.1.7, and from this version, uh, there's some big change um, uh, happened in terms of the uh, operation when you create uh, a shape or moving or dragging shapes. And I believe it became much, much easier and faster to uh, draw the pattern of leather craft. Uh, so please watch this video until the end. And then please let me know if you have any questions, suggestions. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so uh, let's delete those. Okay, um, so uh, when you create a shape, uh, something like line, so it goes like um, from here to here. And I think you notice that there's some green circles here. So this represent, uh, this is the middle of the line. This is a quarter, uh, one fourth of the line. This is uh, three quarter, uh, three fourth of, of the line. So this uh, green circle uh, indicates uh, that uh, these are the very important points. And then this will disappear uh, when mouse cursor uh, is away from a certain distance. And then, for example, if you have multiple uh, lines here, then um, you know only the closest one has this information. So what's good about this? Um, so before, uh, in the previous version, if you want to connect um, those two lines uh, at the middle, uh, you first had to, uh, you know, uh, draw a center line, and then and uh, make a intersection, and then uh, connect those intersections together. So this is something what you needed to do, and then from this version, it's it's obvious here. So you just need to click or start from here, and connect to here. This is how to connect uh, two lines uh, in the middle. And of course, you can do this um, you know, from here to here. Uh, this is a very easy uh, thing to do. Yep. So um, I think that drawing the pattern became much, much easier. And then likewise, uh, drawing the arc. Arc is now um, drawn like, uh, of course, this will disappear when mouse cursor is away. And, and the, when you get closer, then you have center here and then uh, middle and one fourth quarter and a three quarter uh, three fourth point here so um, it's uh, much easier to connect those lines and then um, a circle ellipse uh, yeah circle especially so 40 40 circle so now you have eighth uh, point indicating uh, some important point so if you want to connect um, in the middle, the center of the circle, to somewhere uh, here and here, I don't know who, who if someone wants to do this or not, but um, it wasn't possible before, but now uh, it is. It is possible. And then, um, um, yeah, drawing something like this, it's very easy uh, from this version. The Beige curve, um, uh, is a little bit uh, behind. Now uh, it it highlights the start and the end uh, of the beige curve, but nothing uh, in the middle here yet. I am thinking, um, I'm planning to uh, add this feature, like indication for the middle and um, uh, quarter uh, in a future version, but uh, this is not available now. Okay, uh, so that's that. Um, another thing is, when you uh, drag a shape or shapes to somewhere, then um, uh, it will highlight where the snapping point is. And in, in a previous version, uh, if you're dragging only one, um, or, or uh, yeah, if you are dragging like like this shape, then all the points uh, were snapping points. So uh, the, uh, you know it snapped everywhere. But um, this is that is good. But at the same time, it requires huge compute time. So uh, from this version, I changed uh, the way a little bit. So when you uh, click somewhere, then the snapping point will be the closest point here. So if you click this line, uh, this line, 
So this will be the, the snapping point. When you click here, then this will be the snap point. This way, um, it's, uh, it reduces the, the calculation and then um, uh, it has more freedom to um, you know, snap uh, many places. And the previous version didn't snap to grid when uh, multiple shapes are selected, but now it does. So yeah, like this, so it's snapping um, right here. And the previous version didn't uh, snap to the grid uh, if multiple shapes are selected. It, it did when you select only one uh, shape, but uh, it didn't uh, when multiple are selected. So that's the, another improvement. And uh, what else? Oh, yes. Um, so um, let's think about, okay, this case. Um, when you draw in the center line uh, using this one, this button, um, it was possible to draw a center line from the uh, one edge to another edge. So this was uh, possible um, in the previous version as well. But it wasn't uh, you know, doable to uh, draw a center line from somewhere in the middle like, like this. Center of this one to uh, center or, or of something. Uh, yeah, this is a visual curve, so this is not a good, good example. But let me, let me move this line a little bit down here. Okay, so a center line from here to here is now uh, possible. Of course, this is just a center line uh, when you connect here to here. So this this is um, perpendicular to uh, this line, this particular line. So if you want to draw a center line of uh, these two, then what you can do is um, draw a line from here to here and draw a line from here to here and then draw a line in the middle to the center, to the middle of the line. So this is the perfect way of drawing a certain center line of those uh, two lines. So now this type of thing can be done really easily. And then um, something doesn't work right now is, um, like I mentioned, um, you can pick um, or visually pick a snapping point. Uh, if you want to make this one as a snapping point, then you can click somewhere here. Um, but if you want to set, uh, this is not a good example, uh, maybe this, this is a good one. So if you want to set this one as a uh, snapping point, then uh, it's not possible by default, but there's a way to do it. Um, so click here. So um, yeah, th you might think this is a close to the point, but this is not the edge. This is just an intersection, so it doesn't set uh, as a snapping point. But uh, if you right click on uh, one of those point, right click and set mouse position uh, as a, a snapping point, then uh, it will make this point, or force this point as a snapping point. So uh, until uh, you unselect this, uh, these shapes, this will keep uh, the um, um, snapping point. And um, I just noticed that uh, the snap to the, the grid is a little bit stronger than I thought. So um, it, 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 it snapped the grid. And it, it, sometimes it's not easy to uh, move around. So uh, in that case, press G key to hide the grid. And then you have no restrictions or it's, it doesn't snap to the grid. So you have more freedom. Uh, it's much, much easier to move it around. So uh, if you feel uh, like I do, uh, well, uh, it's, it's kind of annoying to uh, fit it to uh, the grid, then just hide the grid and it will be much comfortable. And I would like to improve this uh, you know, user experience uh, in a future version. Oh, and then uh, another thing is um, for something like a center line uh, or dimension um, as well. Um, when you draw center line, um, yep. So edge to edge center line was uh, available uh, in a previous version as well, but um, somewhere in the middle to middle uh, center line, this wasn't uh, uh, available. But from this version, uh, you can do this. And uh, likewise, 
um, from the center to um, somewhere like like here. This was not uh, possible, but you know, from this version you can do this. And the same thing goes to marking or uh, not marking a, a dimension. So um, from edge to edge dimension was possible like this. But uh, let me make it a little bigger. But somewhere in the middle to middle, some you know, middle to middle, this wasn't um, possible. But now you can do this. All right. Um, so, oh, the I think the last thing I would like to mention is oh, no, not the, the two more things. Um, the first one is about the text. In the previous version uh, video, um, I introduced something called stretch uh, rather than tracking, and then this parameter is to uh, you know, expand or shrink um, the text, but but someone kindly uh, let me know that uh, stretch is not the right word, but the tracking is the right word uh, because when you say stretch, then that means stretching uh, the entire thing, including the uh, each letter. But this time, uh, this case, it's uh, you know expanding or shrinking only the space uh, between the characters or sp uh, between the letters. So it's not really a stretch. This is tracking. So um, uh, I thought uh, changing uh, from stretch to tracking is right thing to do. So uh, from this version, uh, it says tracking. So if you're looking for parameter stretch, then uh, there's there's no stretch anymore. Uh, it's tracking now. But I wonder uh, the translation. Uh, so Japanese and English, it's changed. But uh, other translations, uh, it might still say stretch or similar uh, meaning uh, to stretch. So I will fix that. Or translation contributors, uh, you can do it. Uh, go ahead and do it um, uh, if you watch this video. Uh, or otherwise, I, I will do it. And the one last thing um, is uh, about the bug. Um, then uh, I think I introduced a new or improved uh, bevering. But now, um, someone found that if the angle of the bevel or the two lines is more than a 135 or something then um, um, you know bevering doesn't work uh, properly so i fixed that bug now it works um, perfectly uh, even uh, bigger angles um, so uh, if you experienced this um, phenomenon before then uh, this one is fixed so don't worry about it okay um, I think this is it so um, please download and then start using this and if you find anything please let me know and then if you have any suggestions request I also welcome those um, you know message from you so please don't hesitate to send me an email or a Twitter post uh, or YouTube comment whatever the method it works okay uh, so thank you very much for listening watching um, I hope I'll see you in the next video bye bye